Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my homemade granola recipe. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm always shocked at how much granola costs at the grocery store. I love granola for a healthy and quick breakfast, but I'm not sure I can pay those grocery store prices. So I've come up with my own easy, really delicious, and pretty affordable homemade granola recipe. Here's how you do it. In a small measuring cup, add one third cup of maple syrup and one half cup of vegetable oil. If you don't wanna use vegetable oil, you can use any other kind of neutral tasting oil. Let's set that off to the side for a second. Add a third a cup of brown sugar to a small bowl, then top the sugar with that oil and maple syrup mixture. Add in about two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of almond extract, and salt. Almond extract is my secret ingredient in this granola recipe. I love it because just a little bit enhances all that almond flavor that's in the granola. If you can't find it, not to worry, you can just skip it. Give that mixture a big stir and set it off to the side. Next, let's add the oats, almonds, coconut flakes, and dried cherries to a big bowl. Drizzle the maple syrup and brown sugar mixture on top and mix that really well together. Let's line a baking sheet with parchment paper, then using a spatula, press the granola into one even layer on the baking sheet. Bake the granola at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes, or until the granola is light golden brown and really fragrant. It's gonna make your kitchen smell amazing. Remove the granola and let it cool completely. Then break up any large chunks of granola, just with your hands is totally fine, and store in an airtight container. This recipe makes a lot of granola and makes about eight cups, so it should last you for a while. You can serve your granola with just plain old milk and it'll be perfect, but I actually like to serve mine with yogurt, some fresh fruit, and a little drizzle of honey. Thanks so much for watching. If you make this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure to hit subscribe because I upload new recipe videos each week.